Morgan again here to show you a beautiful black barbecue trailer. I got my main man, Austin King, one of our sales rep here that does a phenomenal job for this company. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to uh, concession trailers, any kind of trailer, really. I pulled him out of the manufacturer many, many, many years ago, and Almost now five. he's on, and now he's one of the best sales reps I got. Man, I appreciate all he does, but this is a black polycore trailer, guys. If you'll notice, you don't see no ripples going down the side of this trailer. And especially on a black trailer, if it's built with aluminum metal, you're gonna see waves. Not with this stuff. This is polycore. You can see how thick it is. It's an 080 material. It's not 024 gauge, it is 080, so it's thick. It lays fat, looks smooth. We did a semi-screwless exterior, so that means we screw it in the seams, we glue it in the middle, the, the uh, polycore lays flat, looks smooth. On the, on the front of this trailer, you'll see a motor base plug. This is how you power your trailer. Um, you will have a generator or a shoreline that you will plug into, and it will run your electrical package. We've got a extended triple tube tongue on the front. This is a V-nose trailer. If you'll come around here, the GFI receptacle right here in case somebody wants to plug in a TV or a fan or a digital menu, whatever you want to plug in, a coffee pot. We've got your fold out shelf right here. You pull your pin out, you let it up, and boom, there's your servant shelf. It is a 12 inch deep servant shelf, so when people come up, they can set their drinks down. They can, you can put ketchup, mustard out here, so customers can grab what they need. You can set their food out while they're grabbing their money. It's just a great feature that everybody needs on their concession truck. This is a three by six concession door and window. We got 5,200 pound axles on it. And on the back porch, this is an open porch with rails. There is a gate on the side. And then also you can put your smoker on. Look right here, this gate moves on the back. So this is a removable gate. So someone can put their actual smoker on the back. Um, it's a six foot porch. Most barbecue trailers we do have six foot porches, but we can go up to a 10 foot porch. Um, Austin, take them inside and show them around, buddy. Right, we're gonna come up on the, on the barbecue porch. So that's that gate that Lane was talking about, easy accessible so you can get in and out. Back here on the barbecue porch, we also get a 110 volt reset. It's a GM5, so it's a ground fault interrupter. Got a waterproof box. I don't know, maybe you need to plug up a fan. Maybe you got a 110 fryer or something you wanna stick back here in the back. You can do that, okay? Step in. You'll notice we just came through this door. It does have a window on it, which does have a screen that will open, okay? So you can see what's going on back there while you're smoking stuff. Come inside here, you're gonna notice we're gonna have our finished interior. So your white metal walls, your white metal ceiling, and of course we're gonna have our flooring, which this is gonna be a black and white checkerboard floor. Um, it's kind of soft to the touch. It feels pretty good on my feet right now. Um, also, in a concession trailer, as you all know, we gotta have that three compartment sink and that hand wash, so this is them. Three compartment sink, hand washing, it does have drain boards. So if you put in your plates, bowls, cups, whatever you need to wash so you can recook, it'll drain that water off of them. And our sink will pass code in whatever state you're in. You gotta be careful that you're able to pass code in what state you're in. And a lot of people use a sink that passes in about half the states. This sink right here, this three deep bowl sink with drain boards, passes code everywhere. And then also if you'll notice over here on the side, what this is, this is gonna be a switch for your water pump. So if you're not using your water, cut your water pump off. You know, it just avoids wear and tear on it over time. Under these cabinets, there ain't really no storage. What you got under here is all your plumbing. So that's gonna be your fresh water tank, your hot water heater, water pump, flex plumbing, everything that you need to pass your code. We got a eight foot range hood. If you'll notice, it does have three lights in it. Um, most range hoods you get, unless you specify it, don't come with the lights. So remember that if you order yours. This one does have three though. Um, this is an eight foot, so this is gonna fit a pretty good bit of appliances in this. It takes up this whole wall, so you can put your fryers, your griddle, whatever the case may be for whatever you're cooking inside of this trailer. As well as, as you'll see, they covered their wheel boxes with a metal, just makes it look finished, nice, clean. Of course, we got our AC up here. So this is gonna be a 13.5 BTU AC with a heat strip, as well as in our electric package, we do two 110 overhead lights to add you plenty of light. With it being white in here, it's really gonna brighten it up because white is the one of them colors that reflect very well. Also a big tip on white metal that most people don't know, you can write on this stuff with an Expo marker. So you can take your order on the wall, wipe it off, and take another order. And I'll pass it to Lane. All right, guys, so we've showed you this barbecue trailer, but here's the key. We've got, it just got to our lot today. These things do not sit here more than a week. So if you're looking for a trailer built, ready to go, on the ground, with a range hood in it, 
Give us a call at Renowned Cargo Trailers, 188-287-3954. You can find us all over the web. We got our home website, renownedcargotrailers.com. You can also find us on a new website we just built, concessiontrailer.com without an S. And uh, guys, we look forward to earning your business. We're also on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all over the place. Laura does an amazing job branding our company. And we just want to know we appreciate all the business that people's gave us in the past. And we can't wait to earn yours in the future. So y'all give us a call and y'all know the rest. Until then, y'all please be blessed.